Hey guys, I'm John, founder and CEO of Sendbird. Uh, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about uh, applying to YC, a Y Combinator, and, uh, and then preparing for the interview. So in transparency, we applied to Y Combi Combinator twice. Uh, in the first try, we passed the application and then we got to the interview. Uh, that was when we were declined. Uh, in our second try, uh, we again passed through the application and we also um, got in. And one thing I realized uh, after getting the Y Combinator was that a lot of the founders uh, that were in the same batch, uh, there are about a hundred companies in our batch, pretty large batch historically, and a yeah, double digit percentage of those founders were multiple uh, time applicants. There were as extreme as some founders who applied to Y Combinator and they got in on their sixth try. I was actually really surprised why you should probably look for something else when you're trying for the sixth time. But but yeah, if you get in, great. If not, still your business can still win, can still be successful without necessarily getting to white Combinator. With that said, um, Sandbird as a company, uh, we, I mean, white Combinator was really uh, critical to our success. Uh, at least uh, up to where we are today in terms of fundraising, go-to-market strategy, uh, finding our earlier customers, as well as just getting advice on pricing, marketing, SEO, a lot of those small bits uh, came from the advice we got from Y Combinator's partners, as well as um, the alumni network. So it was really, really valuable for us, especially because uh, we, our background, our founder's background, background was from B2C companies building consumer products and games, whereas what we're doing now today is B2B enterprise software. So completely different background, so we're fresh up the boat, and thankfully a lot of the YC partners and uh, uh, alumni network, we just had a lot of companies that were doing B2B enterprise software. So that was really helpful for us. With that said, um, I guess a couple of tips um, applying to YC from the application stage. First, uh, just read uh, in detail uh, what's on the Y Combinator's application website. There are some good examples of uh, applications, sample applications like uh, we benchmark a lot from Drew, Drew Houston's Dropbox back in the days. Uh, it, literally what I did was I copy pasted every single answer Drew Houston wrote and literally changed the specific words that was relevant to Dropbox into you know the, the keywords that were relevant to Sendbird. So what I really wanted to do there was try to figure out the tone and manner, the, the level of density, the conciseness, the, the style, basically, of what makes a successful application. And uh, one thing that we found from True Houston's um, application was that a lot of the things were very dry. There weren't a lot of adjectives. It wasn't very salesy or uh, like marketing words were not really in there. It was very dry in a, in a sense where uh, it was written by an engineer for an engineer. So I think when you look at the profiles of a lot of the um, YC partners, they too are entrepreneurs, but and also a lot of them have engineering background. And uh, also just doing the, through the interview and a lot of the conversation you'll have with YC partners is that a lot of the people tend to really focus on the core content and rather trying to make your business sound very big or you know high level try to really bring it down to very concrete vocabulary uh, without any sort of like very salesy words uh, I think that was really helpful and also throughout the application try to uh, provide a lot of evidence in terms of quantitative data specific milestones, deliverables, uh, code that you shipped, specific customer cases. So trying to be really concrete about your um, specific events, actions, results, and traction, I think that is really helpful. Because uh, after reviewing a lot of the YC um, applications myself, helping recommend a lot of the companies, coaching, um, what I found, a lot of the initial applications that I've seen tend to be really high level. Like they're trying to innovate an industry, trying to change the world, which is good. But at the same time, from uh, persons reviewing these applications, if you think about each 
YC batch receiving anywhere from 6,000 to maybe 8,000 applications per, per batch, uh, the partners only are going to only look at those applications. Maybe uh, first 30 seconds would be like qualifying. After that would be maybe two to three minutes reading them. If, if it's really interesting, maybe they may take five, 10 minutes digesting those applications. But the first 30 seconds, then maybe up to two to three minutes. Uh, if you lose interest, that's when they will just move on to the next application. That's just the reality. So try to think about what's the first sort of couple of sentences or your tone your about your application that's really concrete, really unique, really highlights your strength. And then also highlight what you've executed. Um, so a lot of the YC companies or applicants that apply these days, they've actually tried to ship their code, have gotten initial feedback from the customer, or there are also a lot of companies that are doing like millions of dollars in annual revenue. Frankly, uh, I think it's almost unfair that they apply to Y Combinator, but from YC investors' perspective, there's no reason they should deny those applications. So um, as long as they can get you know, pretty good equity on those um, investments. So, um, so yeah, just try to be really concise, concrete, uh, provide hard evidence in terms of actions, results, traction, and show that you have what it takes to actually you know, see things through. And another sort of common, I guess, mistake YC companies tend to, applicants tend to make is a lot of the founders are not really founders. They're like part-timers. Um, working at big corporates and will quit or will turn full-time uh, when they get accepted to Y Combinator. And I found to be really surprising because uh, hearing from a lot of the founders after they get declined from Y Combinator, Combinator I find them um, getting back to their old corporate worlds or you know applying to other companies. I'm like, if, if, if you are that serious about your um, mission or your goal or dream of starting a company, then the partners have seen a lot of founders. They will see right through your application. So make sure you thought things through and you show that your commitment uh, on the application as well. So that's one tip about writing applications. On the interview, um, I think uh, another thing that's pretty helpful is interview. the 10 minute interview is really short. There will be four partners that come in. Uh, usually two people will be asking most questions and the other two folks might be observing and answering some of the, I guess, ancillary questions. So um, in that case, you'll be, you know, throughout the interview, you'll be asked around your, your market, your product, your traction, your customers, uh, your competitive advantage, maybe your business model, uh, your founders, how you met each other, uh, how your roles are divided, your equity. So all of those things might get addressed throughout the interview. So 10 minutes just goes by really quickly. So how you want to prepare is you want to create your FAQ, basically frequently asked questions, and try to answer those questions in one to two sentences. So you don't want to start with your background or context. You don't want to say, by the way, uh, we've tried, been trying to do this. Our plan is to do that. Like, don't start your answers with those. Try to answer the questions with the very first sentence. And that first sentence should be able, could, could be embarrassing, could be whatever, but try to answer the question in your very first sentence, then try to elaborate in your second and third sentence, <clears throat> provide more evidence or more examples later on, or provide more context. Because what will happen in 10 minutes is that they'll ask a question, they'll maybe hear one or or one sentence or two sentences of your answer, and then the, the other partner might just ask a second question. So you might not actually have the time to answer those questions with multiple sentences. So you want to make sure uh, that you answer those questions upfront. And it is very not comfortable answering that way because you want to give them the chance, be given the chance to explain things, which you won't get unless you're lucky, so make sure you get that. And a couple of other tips that I heard from other founders is that you know, getting sponsorships or recommendations helps. Uh, I've also recommended a few YC companies and then they also got in. I'm not sure how effective that was, but for our company, Sandberg, we didn't get any sponsorship from partners. We didn't know anybody, 
we didn't get any recommendations um we did practice a little bit <clears throat> and because we it was our second time i think the second time we were a little bit more relaxed but um uh, and our partners were justin khan and michael seibel and i was having dinner with justin uh, a couple of weeks ago and he mentioned that i looked really nervous so maybe i wasn't as relaxed as i um, hoped uh, i was but anyway so those are my quick tips on apply to y combinator hopefully that was helpful and um, if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment i'll check and answer them when i can so cool thank you